should you give a homily? You know, and so, <laughs> but uh, there's, there's a thing called pastoral prerogative where the pastor can kind of make, and I do because I give a little homily at least because the other part of the law is that if I give you a homily, then I could take up a collection. <laughs> but I won't. Just, uh, just one little brief story. You know, I, I've been here in this parish on the east side for 22 years now. And so we had K-5 graduation uh, before the pandemic. And so went to the graduation where they go from K-5 to first grade. And I looked out at, in our parish school at the 35 or so kids. And I realized two things that, that really put me to think a little bit. I did, I did most of their baptisms. Oh. But not only that, I did most of their weddings. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> so actually, the priest that married you, I just, I just got off the phone with him. He's retired now, and so I'll, I'll mention you again when I talk to him. I'm sure that he's going to be so glad that you followed the instructions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> at, the, uh, at the graduation, the kids gave me this beautiful kind of bundle of letters that they wrote. And you know, in that wonderful kindergarten print in the black letters. <laughs> you know, this little girl writes me, Dear Father Tim, period. Thanks for being our priest, period. <laughs> you baptized me, period. <laughs> and, and then the last line was best, and I've never forgotten it. <laughs> I think I'm the punctuation. Yeah, exactly. So, but you know, it's, it's funny because, you know, he's not going to remember this. But I think it's real important for us to remember that this isn't just for him, it's for us. His family, his friends, his people that care about each other that God becomes real for this child now in a way that brings all of us together in a new, real way. Now, in this very space, you committed your lives to each other, and now you're telling God that you want to keep on helping him to create the future. So, thanks so much for coming back to do this. It's an honor to baptize your son. Let's pray now for Rex Joseph, who's going to be baptized. Mark, for you and Ashley, and for the godparents and family members and friends. Each of the following prayers respond with, Lord, hear our prayer. By the mystery of your death and resurrection, bathe this child in light. Give him the new life of baptism. Welcome him to the Holy Church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. In baptism and confirmation, make him your faithful follower and a witness to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lead Rex Joseph by a holy life to the joys of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Make the lives of Ashley and Mark, of the godparents, of family members and friends, good examples of faith to guide this child. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Lord, keep this family always united in your love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We know the grace of baptism within each one of us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let's take a moment now. The mystery of our hearts offer prayers we bring with us for this child. We remember all the deceased members of families present, all of our ancestors. We also remember the names of the saints. These are the following names we respond with. Pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Peter and St. Paul, pray for us. All holy men and women, pray, pray for us. Almighty and ever-living God, you cast out the power of evil, rescue humans, bring them to the kingdom of light. We pray for this child. Set him free from original sin. Make him a temple of your glory. Send your Holy Spirit to dwell with him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 God, now to bless the water. At the dawn of creation, water is the wellspring of holiness. The waters of the flood of Noah, an end of sin, new beginning of goodness. The waters of the Red Sea, an end of slavery, new beginning of freedom. When he was on the cross, Jesus willed that blood and water should flow from his side as a rich sign of what we do here. And when he rose, Jesus said, Go teach, baptize, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, unseal for us the fount of baptism. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to the newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. You have come to present your son for baptism by water and the Holy Spirit. He has received the gift of new life from God who is love. On your part, you have to make it your constant care for the other son to show them the way of Christ and the way of love. Faith makes you ready. I would ask you too, with the support of the godparents and anyone here who is baptized, renewal of your baptismal vows. Reject sin. Profess your faith in Jesus. It's the faith of the church. It's the faith in which Rex is about to be baptized. And so I ask you to respond to the following question with, I do. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. I do. do you reject the glamour of evil, refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. I do. Do you reject Satan, father of sin, prince of darkness? I do. I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered, died, and was buried, 
rose from the dead, now is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. And we are proud to profess it in the name of Jesus. Is it your will now that your son should be baptized in the faith we've all just professed with you? It is. It is. Rex, Joseph, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We use warm water. Okay, so. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has given this child new birth by water and the Spirit, welcomes him to God's holy people. He is anointed with sacred chrism. This Christ was anointed priest, prophet, king. So may he always live as a member of God's holy family. Rex Joseph, you have clothed yourself in Christ. Your Godmother and I will take the white garment, put it around your shoulders as a sign of the sweet yoke of Jesus Christ. Bring the dignity of your Christianity unstained to the everlasting life of heaven. Rex Joseph, receive the light of Christ. Ashley and Mark, godparents, family members and friends, this light is being entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. Your son has been enlightened by Christ. See that the flame of faith is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in his heart. Remember how much our Lord loved children. We ask a blessing on the senses of your son that he have a long, healthy, happy life. Blessing on your other son. You got him right there? Yep. All right. Blessing on all the kids here. Everyone, can we also pray a blessing for any child in our world who's born into need? May all of us work harder to make the world a better place for our kids. This is a child of God. A few years down the line, where we see the fullness of sacraments. We give him the first communion, confirmation. You're gonna, in New York, you're gonna make sure he goes to Mass every Sunday, and I'll be calling your priest. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of this child, help me pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And a rosary blessed with the waters of his baptism. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has brought joy to Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shine out in the eyes of their children. A blessing in you. We thank God for the gift of your sons. May you be one forever in thanking God with them in heaven. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. God bless you as the Father. You and Ashley will be amongst the first teachers of these children in the way of life, in the way of faith. God, make you both the best of teachers, bearing witness by what you say and do. On this day of baptism, a blessing on Ellie on the 4th of July, a great blessing for you, health, happiness, and peace for this family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we welcome our newest Christian in the world. Yeah, thank you. All right, good. Congratulations. Who are the grandparents? Who is? Okay. You can always tell. You can always tell. <laughs> Listen, happy, happy holiday or happy Fourth of July. And stay as long as you want. I have another one coming in, but not for another half hour. So, okay. so stay as long as you want. Don't steal anything. And, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a good man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just for a But uh, good, safe travel. Though, when are you heading back? Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay, good. So I hope you're having a big party now. Is there a party? We yeah. are. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good yes. powder. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, so, so how old is he? He's a little old. 
He's 14 months, but due to COVID, oh, we, we wanted, we Everyone wanted to be here. Everyone can breathe now. Yeah, exactly. I saw yeah. our family lake up in. Uh, did it work? <laughs> <laughs> they said it didn't. Wasn't the same. Wasn't the same. Yeah. Well, you know what? Did you take a 